Welcome everyone to this new video. So I know that for a lot of people, being a software engineer is something that is abstract and they don't really know what it means. And a lot of people are, have problems in deciding whether that's going to be the right career or if they should enroll in a program in college that will help them to become a software engineer. So I decided to take a step back and think about what are the reasons that I decided going for this career and what are the reasons that still makes me happy every day. And I came up with five points on why I decided to become a software engineer and why still today I think it was a good choice. So let's get started. The first point is the love of building. Uh, since I was a little kid, I always loved building stuff. I spent a lot of time with Legos, and every time that there was something that could have been built, I was excited to jump in. And I think that this is a key factor for a lot of engineers, but especially for software engineers. You need to enjoy the process. I always like to think of the process as three phases, uh, where the first one is about thinking, foreseeing, and thinking ahead with other people too. The second one is about building. This is an interesting experience, especially because you get to learn how to use tools and you actually build something. And then the third part, which honestly is my favorite, is to witness what you have accomplished. This is something that should not be taken for granted because as software engineers, we're so lucky that we're able to witness what we build pretty much every day. And you get to do that with your teammate. Related to the love of building, I think it's important to underline how easy it is to build software. Let's compare it to build a, a car or like a, a shuttle. That's not stuff you can do in your bedroom or in your apartment. You need tools, you need a plan, you need people. But for software, you really can just build that with your own computer at your place and you can technically build a startup that is going to impact the life of a lot of people. I always liked this idea by how fast an idea into my head could it be translated into a piece of software. The second point that I think it's important to highlight is the love for the challenge. One reason I really like this field is that every week I face issues that have never really been solved by anyone else before. And this is on one side certainly scary, but on the other side is very intriguing and challenging. Knowing that you're working on something that there is no clear answer and it has to come from you, I think it's incredibly motivating and exciting. There certainly are other jobs where you face the similar issues, but I think software engineering is a great one for that. So if you feel that you like you know, solving Oprah questions, thinking and knowing that what you're going to solve is something that has never been done before, then this is going to be the right path for you. And this directly connects to the third point, which is the love of learning. Don't do software engineering if you don't like learning. It's an ongoing process. You never get there. Tools change every year, every month, almost every week. And it's an ongoing process. You're a student for the rest of your life. I know for some people this can be a pain. I personally, and I know a lot of other people personally love that. Every day you put yourself in the game and you can learn a lot of stuff. And this is cool because you also see new technologies coming and you get an understanding of where the world is going. You know, when you get to work with fields such as artificial intelligence or blockchain, there's an incredibly new field that they change so quickly. And it is important for software engineers to adapt incredibly quickly to the new changes. And the fourth point is creativity. This is a very important point for me and I'd like to share a bit of a story of mine. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a musician. This has been through for a big chunk of my young life and I wanted to be a jazz musician. And when I decided that I was going instead to be a software engineer, I was kind of reluctant to the fact that I had to leave the creativity factor that I could find in music. But this ended up not being true. Software engineering deals a lot with creativity. When you face a problem, and as we mentioned before, there are no solution, the way you're going to handle that is not going to be a rational process. It's not just like doing a calculation. You cannot sit down and you know find a solution. You have to think. 
You have to get everything that is on your brain from different fields, from different knowledge. And you're gonna interact with other people to try to get this intersection, mix it. And then from that, there's gonna come a solution. And this process is not just a pure rational process, but there is a very creative aspect to it. This is based on all your past experiences and your past wisdom, and I find it incredibly creative. And then the fifth point that I'd like to share is the flexibility. I think this is an extremely flexible field, not only for when you work, but also when you study it. Thanks to this degree, I was able to study in Europe, in China, in the United States. The main language is English. Everyone speaks English in this field, and it's very easy to learn it in different universities across the world because it's very global. And so it's easy to travel while studying it. And this is, of course, is true also for when you work, because at the end of the day, you only need a laptop and an internet connectivity. Remote work is something very common in this field. And so a lot of people can travel, can see different cities while they work as software engineers. So this flexibility, I think, I think it's something that is very valuable. Also flexibility in terms of time, because most of the time you'll work based on your projects. So if you're an early person, you can just wake up at 5 a.m. and get done with your work by 3 p.m. If you like to stay up and code late, you can just switch the productivity of your day at night. Flexibility is key on this job, so if it's something that you value, it's certainly gonna be the right field for you. So those were the most important five things about software engineering that I still like today. And those are the points that made me decide that this was the right path for me to work in. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please subscribe to the channel if you want to know more. And do not hesitate to ask any questions or doubt that you have in the comment section below.